Oh, hello there. I'm just doing some colouring in. There's an awful lot to do. Hey, here's an idea. Maybe you could help me. Here's what I need you to do. Reach into the air and grab some invisible colours. Make sure they're invisible ones and use your imagination to see them. Have you got red? Yellow? Green? Blue, pink and purple? You have? Well then throw them up here to me and I'll try and catch them inside the folds of the paper. One more. Yes, I've got them. I'll wiggle my fingers. Everyone else can wiggle their fingers too. And let's all say the magic words together. Here we go. Ready, steady, magic. And if it worked, then over here, we should find that the picture is now. Look at that. All those fantastic colors. I especially like the way that you have used light and dark to make some of the areas look 3D. That is very clever. Now, where was I? Um, oh yes, right here. Thanks for helping out. See you next time. Hello there, and welcome to today's magic trick. Or, should I say, magic game. In a moment, I'm going to show you what's inside my hat. And you'll have three seconds to remember as much as you can about what I show you. Are you ready? All right then, here we go. Your three seconds will start round about now. Three, two, one. Did you get it? Well, let's see. Can you tell me what colour was the object that I just showed you? If you said that it was red, then well done. You got it right. But can you tell me this? What shape was the object that I just showed you? If you said that it was a ball or that it was round, or that it was a sphere, or that it was like a circle, then look, you got that right as well. But I have to let you know that the last question is the most difficult one. No child has ever, ever, ever managed to guess which hand the ball is hidden in. Now, some children think it's over here, and some children think it's over here. But I don't think you'll be able to guess where the ball is hidden. Uh-oh. Can you see that little bit of red there? That means I've made a mistake. A big mistake. If you can see that red, then everybody is going to be able to guess where the ball is hidden. Hang on a minute. I could use magic to make the ball disappear. Good idea, Ed. Will you help me? I'll wiggle my fingers and everybody else can wiggle their fingers too. And now let's all say the magic words. Ready, steady, magic. And you'll see that the ball is now completely Complete. It's completely still there. Well, I don't know why the magic didn't work. Usually, when everybody wiggles their fingers and everybody says, ready, steady, magic, then the ball should no longer be square. Hey, how did you do that?
Today I am so excited because I've got my brand new magic trick to show you. In fact, it's so new, I haven't even learnt it yet. But don't worry, I've brought the instructions along with me on state-of-the-art, cutting-edge, modern technology, learn magic by audio cassette. What do you mean that isn't state-of-the-art, brand-new, cutting-edge, modern technology? Well, it was when I was your age. Anyway, could you um, put this in the player for me and hit play? Welcome to Learning Magic by Audio Cassette 101. Ah. To perform this amazing trick, you will need two handkerchiefs. One, two. Step one. Step one. Show the white handkerchief. Step two. Show the black handkerchief. Step three. Step three. Show both handkerchiefs. Both handkerchiefs. Step four. Wrap the two handkerchiefs together. Hmm. Step five. Pull them apart. Did the magic work? Did the magic work? No, no, it didn't work. Of course not. Oh, of course not. That's because you didn't say the magic words. Oh, we haven't said the magic words. It's easy to forget. It is easy to forget. If you are a stupid magician. Hey! Who are you calling a stupid magician? I'm calling it to you. Oi! That's rude. Let's try again. Let's try again. Yes, let's keep up. Step one. Step one. Show the white handkerchief. White handkerchief. Step two. Step two. Show the black handkerchief. Black handkerchief. Step three. Step. Show both handkerchiefs. Three. Both handkerchiefs. Step four. Wrap the two handkerchiefs together. Wrap the handkerchiefs together. Step five. Say the magic words. Oh, this should be exciting. Ready. Ready. Steady. Steady. Magic. Magic. <gasps> wow. Look at Thank that. Thank you for listening to Learning Magic by Audio Cassette. You are welcome. Maybe I did learn it after all. This weekend is a very special weekend for my family. That's because it's my mum's birthday. I've bought her a lovely present. In fact, I've got it right here with me. Isn't that lovely? Look how shiny it is. I think that she is going to love it. The only problem is my wrapping paper is far too big for my lovely present. But I had a good idea. Maybe I could just use half of the sheet of wrapping paper. But that's still too big. Maybe I could just use a quarter of the wrapping paper. No, that's still too big too. What I really need to do is to use just the middle piece of the paper. If I fold it up and tear along this line, I should get a piece of wrapping paper that is just the right size. Now, I won't worry about the edges. I can neaten those up later. But hopefully, this should be... Yes, this is perfect. It's the right size for my lovely present. Now all I need to do is to find some um, sticky tape. Well, that's torn it. What am I to do now? I've only got these small pieces of paper and a big piece of paper with a hole in it. Hang on a minute. I could use magic to bring these together. That is a good idea. And I've got another idea too. If I take the ring 
and put that inside of a ring box, then I could use the whole sheet of wrapping paper. Now all I need to do is go off and find Did you know that there are lots of different types of magic? Some magicians do magic very close up to you and they use objects that you can hold in your hands. Other magicians do very big magic. They have big stages with big boxes full of big animals and lots of people. We call that type of magic grand illusion and it's very grand and very exciting if you ever get the chance to go and see a Grand Illusion show. I've got a Grand Illusion with me today, but I've had it shrunk down to fit inside my hand. It's the best of both worlds, really. I've even got my very own beautiful assistant. It's Kitty. Kitty is going to stand inside of the frame and I'll push her all the way along so that you can see her head, her mid tummy and her feet. If I've done the magic correctly then I should be able to push her tummy across so that it is not connected to her head or to her feet. I can even put a pencil through the middle to show you that there is nothing inside of that gap. Now it's very strange not to have a middle and it looks strange from the back too. But I can't leave Kitty with a big hole inside of her. So what I'll do is I'll do the magic in reverse and I'll put her middle back in the middle. Now, when I take Kitty out of the frame, you'll see that she is completely back to normal, ready for another day of magic. Thanks very much, and I'll see you next time. I wish, I wish I had a wishing coin to hold within my hand. And if I did, the coin I know would grant what I demand. To wish upon a wishing coin is easy once you know. Just tap, wiggle and blow. The coin will surely go. If you had a wishing coin, what would you wish for? Maybe you'd be just like me and wish for just one more. Alas, I have no wishing coin. Although I wish it wasn't true. Hey, here's an idea. If you would like a wishing coin, listen carefully. Here's what you have to do. Wishes only come to those who truly do believe. But if you do, then reach up high and see what you can see. I'll keep this coin safe because you never know quite when I might need the wish for myself or need it for a friend. Because if you ever meet another who says that life's not fair, remember, wishes come back double whenever they are shared.
someone over here. Did you know that some people train their incredible animals to do ordinary things, like carry messages, fetch the newspaper, or even answer the telephone? It's true. I've seen it with my very own eyes. But me, I like to do things a little bit differently. I train my ordinary things to do incredible tricks. And in fact, I've been training my handkerchief. I mean, you've never seen a trained handkerchief before. I'll show it to you. My handkerchief can do an amazing trick. He can untie himself from a great big knot. You don't believe me? Watch carefully. Here we go. Come on. Come on. Up you go. All the way. Keep, keep. Whoop. That's it. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Don't worry if you missed it. I'm going to show you one more time. But this time, I'm going to show you in super slow motion. That's right. I said super slow motion. Come on, come on. Kiki, Kiki. Good boy, good boy. Well done. Thank you. I've been training my handkerchief for years. It has taken years of dedication and practice. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, so proud. <laughs> if you'd like to find out when I add more magic videos, then click subscribe here. And why not watch just one more by clicking here?